When the relationship traditionally had been, and I'll, I'll go back a number of years, had traditionally been one of uh, government as regulator and industry as provider and business owner, it creates that natural sort of uh, delineation uh, and, and, and a bridge that sometimes can be difficult to gap. What happens, though, is that over time, if you have the foundations for a public-private partnership in place, at least what I have seen, is the, that trust begins to develop between the bodies, between the government and the industry groups. You have a situation where today where you have some some industry, uh, industry sector coordinating councils in the U.S. who do not have good relationships. I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest. They do not have a good public-private partnership in what we would consider to be, to be a good operating model for sharing information and working together on important risk management issues. There are other sectors who have very good relationships that they have worked with from the beginning of this, this uh, partnership that was started in 2005 to establish those good working relationships, build the trust, and actually work together to write and develop a framework that they could both abide by and agree to, and then work to implement those measures together. So uh, I guess my, my uber point is that uh, trust is very fragile and it takes a long time to develop. And so when I, when I uh, was invited here to speak, uh, and, I, and I know about the recent uh, Q22, the new four-year plan, uh, I would just say that as that is being worked and developed moving forward, that it's very important to look at lessons learned from other public-private partnerships, whether they be in the U.S. or the U.K or Japan or Singapore or other nations that are working on these issues. There is no one right model. There is no one right way to do this. But there's a lot of lessons learned uh, that many of us who have been involved in the public-private partnership uh, debate for many years, uh, lots of lessons learned, I think, that, that can be gleaned and put to, put to work to craft the framework that will be useful uh, to the ITU member bodies as they move forward.